Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... And thank you for coming back to the channel. Where, as you can see, we're going to be talking about Sheree. We're not going to be talking about her anymore after this point with her show called She by Sheree. Now, we know she was bullied. She was pushed. Uh, she was forced to resurrect after we had buried her 14 years ago. 13 or 14 years ago, when she didn't bring nothing out. Uh, she by Sheree. And she's charging $130, y'all, for them outfits. Is she crazy as hell? One hundred twenty-five dollars, and you can just see from looking at it, it's not good material. Sheree, you should have had it at thirty-five ninety-nine or forty-nine ninety-nine, and you would have probably made a killing. You know, or at least got some of your money back from what you say you put in it, which was a million dollars. You know, somewhere there near it, which we know. Hell to the no, no, no. Okay, but yeah, I believe we all bullied Sheree into. Uh, bringing out she by Sheree. If it wasn't nothing but one time, one thing, and she she didn't she had a fashion show. She didn't. How can I put it bluntly? Sheree is not a designer. Okay, she's a scammer in a sense. And where was your girl Fatum at? Was she could she not come on set because the Real Housewives of Atlanta was there? I mean, she was one of your biggest supporters. So why would you not have your friends come on? I mean, your husband, Bob Whitfield, ex-husband, I meant to say, he came and he made a fool out of you when he uh, called himself uh, showing up and showing out, uh, being a part of your storyline one season. Okay, yes, he showed up and showed out on your ass. But he was there at your fashion show. But then again, he wasn't trying to be a paid participant of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So maybe Fatum was and... Well, and then it probably had a situation dealing with Drew because Drew said she didn't want to film with her. She didn't trust her. She felt her life was in danger. I was kind of silly ass shit just to get it off the show. Now, Drew, you know you're wrong, but okay, you played your card. You played it well, and it was definitely <coughs> looked at in your favor. <coughs> but yes, Sheree, you had to resurrect this dead line of a she by Sheree. And I heard you had copied off somebody. Did you do a little copying and pasting and putting that fashion show together? Just throwing that little logo on. And if you haven't, and you probably haven't, if you want to trademark your shit, meaning your design, she by Sheree, you need to trademark it. You need to get a copyright, honey, before someone goes behind you, which I don't know why they would, but just, you know, playing devil's advocate, wanted to capitalize on your name. And they bought the rights to that name because you failed miserably uh, su securing it with a trademark. So if you haven't thought about that, baby, you really want to still do this thing of copying and pasting other people's hard work as far as designers. And you better watch out for that, too, because it, it seems like you came very close, similar to somebody else's fashion. Or, you know, maybe you was uh, buying by bulk or something. Hell, I know, I don't know. But we do know, Sheree, you're not a designer. Okay? You go, you have a love for fashion, and you have a good eye for fashion. Same thing with um, uh, Andre Talley. You know, that appeared on so many different uh, runway shows or whatnot. He was an editor for fashion. He knew fashion. He dressed fashion. But he was not a designer, per se. Okay, same thing with uh, Tracy Ellis Ross. She loves fashion, but she's not a designer. So you can just throw yourself in with those two people. Well, Andre wrote commentary about it. He was an editorial person, a uh, journalist who wrote about fashion. So we probably wouldn't want to put you with him. We'd probably, probably put you with Tracy Ellis Ross. She loves fashion. She calls herself is fashion, but she don't call herself a designer. So you believe in yourself. You smelt the tulips or roses, however you want to pull it. 
put it and you went on and did what you had to do now <laughs> why was tyrone there i don't know i don't know i don't know and don't really care at this time because that storyline is dead in my eyes as well as yours i guess because you wasn't showing him no love when brother came by to call himself um what do you call it uh, saluting you and giving you your props for finally pulling off she by charade see these young men and women they are designers you see how they have all the stuff they have the patterns they have the measurement tapes they have the scissors they are designers they uh draw a sketch whatever what they think they want to see come to life then they go pick up the patterns the patterns that you were looking at charade forever and a day they pick the patterns that they want to use whatever type of material to create the design that they initially drew okay <coughs> see tracy ellis you'll see her in all kinds of fashion magazines and being uh modeling their clothes or whatnot designable clothes designer clothes i should say but she's not a designer she just has a good eye for fashion same as you should write so you shouldn't be disappointed because you're not a designer because you're not a designer and like i said we pretty much bullied you to bring out she by charade because you had buried that shit you had put it to rest and you were hoping nobody would come by come back talking about she by charade but as we did and you know your storyline brought you back here on the show <coughs> we thought you were going to be a, a very formidable player this time but again you're just a bone collector and you can be seen or not seen on any particular episode of show of the real housewives of atlanta okay but yeah baby and <clears throat> those are designs that a person thought in their head they wanted to put it together on paper and this is how it is formed it's formed by a picture and an idea then you go to do the hard work by picking the patterns putting it together sewing it up for people to see and hopefully you will get a nod like yes let's put that in production you did none of this okay even though you tried to allude that you did do this these steps but we know you didn't you just called up a vendor that most uh clothing store owners do they probably had the same vendors used and you just got something that was kind of close to what you liked that you stamped copy and pasted your uh logo on it and bam that was she by charade that's a bootleg way to do things and most people do them when they're trying to you know uh <clears throat> bring awareness to a certain charity and they just you know print up a lot of different stuff hey my daughter do it she get an idea she start playing with you know her computer or a phone tablet and trying to you know put her idea or logo together and once she get it together she goes and um make masses of whatever product she done came up with you know what i'm saying so uh yeah sure right <sighs> you didn't do anything but copy and paste baby you didn't do anything but copy and paste and that shows you don't have the knack to do the job to be a but to become a designer or say you are a designer and we know who she is if you don't know google her okay but um i just pretty much gave you a little ideal of how fashion is made from the beginning okay and that's andre tally he i at first i thought he was a designer but then i had to go read up on him no he just talks and writes about designers and he has a good eye most people think of uh, what's hot what's uh fashionable and what's going to get rave reviews so he's something like that all right <clears throat> but um charade why did you lie and say your uh your website had crashed because y'all had so many people trying to get orders in same thing they did to drew drew couldn't remember or how her person that she's uh partnered up with this fit um fit by drew or something like that we don't really care about it because we know it's not her own she's just a spokesperson for someone that really owns the product <coughs> but uh yeah sheree are saying that um the website website crashed and you y'all tried to do the same thing to drew when drew said it was just too many people going to her website at the time and it crashed and it had to be you know uh rebooted up or whatever no something like beyonce her shit can crash any other high sought out the celebrity honor you know she put out a product and so many people are just running to it and they crash it because it wasn't meant to hold all those people at one specific time you know they didn't know it was just going to be vastly sought after 
those are the two people I can really think about that people are going for here and there. But you're coming off as a Kim Kardashian copy and paste type person. Go around stealing other people's stuff, trying to make your own come to fruition in their stuff or their design that they took time to develop. And you all just went and found the, the uh, materials y'all was looking for as far as the look and the material that you wanted to, it to be had in. And you went to these vendors that are out there filling orders for the masses of people that have boutiques or have their own clothing store. You didn't do the work, Sheree. But, like I said, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Because you think people, well, you might be some fans of yours that will go in and probably are that size because like i said you were trying to size people from two to six okay you forgot about the other people the other 10 12 14 16 18 20 the uh, 2x 3x all them kind you forgot about those people when you got your selection in and like i said you think people are gonna pay that kind of money you would have did better if you would have charged 39 99 49 99 or even 59 99 you probably would have got some takers but that no ma'am no lord no god you are not a designer once again and you don't have a big backing behind you to uh solidify yourself in getting the bigger people like a beyonce like a rihanna like uh kanye west to even look at your clothes to even think that you you know had the materials down pat you had the design down pat and it was something that uh wasn't out there already for people to you know partake of but you did your little thing you did your little thing and we got some commentary <laughs> with some audio that we can hear of all the successes that uh your castmates had gave you uh, with the completion of she by charade all right let's hear it She got it done, and I'm very proud of her. She really did blend fashion with athletics. She gave us a bomb-ass firework fashion show. She by Sheree is in the building. Yes! Will he do it? Or should I say, won't she do it? Definitely worth the wait. Maybe not the whole wait. 14-year wait, but it was definitely good. After 14 years, I did it. I've had a lot of ups and downs. I've had a lot of letdowns. I want everybody who feel like they can't do it to keep pushing. With prayer, determination, hard work, it will definitely pay off. finalize her trust stuff so I guess she's gonna take that in the season 15 maybe and that's Drew coming down the walkway and she still haven't read Ralph's book yet 
Uh, <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Then we had um, Marlo. Get your house pressure wash. All right, I'm excited. Yes, yeah, so I'm ready to go. I'm ready to really finalizing go. her really home that's gonna be built uh, in next year. Okay, she's doing self improvement, and I guess she still have the boys. Then we got Kenya cutting up, still loving her baby girl, still traveling with her baby girl, and definitely doing her as usual. Ray says, uh, I'm going to check me, boo. Hey, guys, I'm I have a fulfillment sense that she likes to wear, and I'm so, so excited. You guys better have the credit cards ready, because everybody needs to be wearing two guys to Ray. And Sheree is basically saying that she's at the warehouse. <laughs> she's still going to keep that lie alive, all right. And I don't know what happened to Dwight, because we saw him at the beginning. But he did say uh, in low terms that he was, he was ready to go. He got to go. And he was ready to go. And we really didn't see him after that. So I guess he just said, forget this mess. I'll watch it on replay uh, <clears throat> when I get a chance. But uh, he the one really kept her, uh, what do you call it, scenario around by having uh, saying, what was that thing he said, uh, having a fashion show with no fa fashions, how dreadful, so with that, and everybody else inquiring what happened to it, when is it coming out, it actually came to fruition, and we can put that puppy to bed, because at the price that she's asking for those clothes, like I said, she's not a designer, uh, it's crazy, you know, like, she might drop them, like Cynthia had to drop some of her eyewear line that she came out with. Had to start selling it on Amazon. But if she wants to try to get some of her money back, I think she need to come out that $130 thing and, and sell that shit for $39.99, $49.99, $59.99. And then she probably would get a lot of takers. Just to say they got it. Uh, and maybe sport pictures on it. I, hell, I don't know because I don't plan on buying it because she ain't got my size. But anyway, it just is what it is. And we salute Sheree for calling herself getting rid of Tyrone as well as, um, what is it? As well as the other man she was messing with. Well, we don't know. She's probably claiming herself to fame for Martell, but he didn't show up for her fashion show, which I thought was odd. But I think they didn't get together to after uh, the show had aired, so maybe he's after this situation, but he had to know about she by Sheree still, you know what I'm saying, but like I said, Phaedra wasn't there, but Apollo was there, and I heard that she had something to say real bad about Sheree, you know, turning, uh, against her and, and having Apollo on the show, if it, if it was just modeling, <clears throat> but she still gave him time that she felt she he didn't need. And uh, let me see who else. We know Quad was there from Married to Medicine. I think Jackie was there. Uh, I'm thinking. You won't hold me to it. But, you know, the cast members were very, 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 very proud of her. And I'm sure they'll get something just to say they bought it, you know, per se. Because uh, Candy was definitely interested in, you know, buying some stuff to support her. And she did, uh, when we saw the clip with her in Kenya, uh, Kenya is opening up, I want to say, 57 stores uh, within CVS. That was her uh, claim to fame that they actually had put out there. I don't know where I read it from, but no, it was actually in the scene that she was this last uh, episode. Uh, she had had a little groundbreaking ceremony inside one of the CVSs, and Candy came, and uh, Drew came, uh, Sonya came, and Kenya. Well, Kenya had to come because she was her and then, haha. Uh, but anyway, they I saw Candy had two bottles of something uh, she was purchasing. So, you know, Candy's pretty good about. Whether you on the show or you were a good friend of hers or just a, um, what do you call it? I guess you're doing something good for the community and you ask her to show up or, or come. And her uh, person, Jamie, uh, feels like it's something that would benefit Candy. She, you know, Candy would show up for the public and she would definitely try to um, do things uh, 
publicly uh, for your event or whatnot. So she's always been a good supporter of the women on the show, whether they dogged her out or, you know, whatever. She was always there. So you got to give her props up for that. But, uh, yeah, that was Sheree's coming out uh, party uh, and definitely solidifying herself in the industry of des- uh, apparel, I should say. We ain't going to say designers, but apparel. So if you want to go out there and get it, go to her website. Uh, I don't know what website it is. I ain't even trying to check it out, trying to find out about it. But, <clears throat> that, you know, those are some of the prices <laughs> we have for something that's looking like uh, uh, somebody else. Wears. I think it's a trend. I don't forgot where I got it from. But look at the neighborhood talk. They had it, honey. They had it out. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like, love it, got it, and more. I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.